Oops a daisy. Hey yo everyone, it's me again. Uh, hopefully this is gonna be a nice and quick and easy video. Who knows, maybe not. Now this um I explained to people about what I call the infinity rule when working out um, percentages or anything to do with a percentage uh, because as you may know, may or may know um, I've also been doing math 105 to increase my math skill and um, math 90 in the fall was the first time I came across algebra because England High School doesn't or didn't teach algebra when I was there um, so the concept of algebra was completely foreign to me until I did math 90. Now for the most part yes uh, finding the variable is easy to do by dividing out the number to find the value of x or the value of y um, but the one a uh, way that I would argue that um, Europe or England's way is better than the algebra way is with percentage or with a certain degree of ratios uh, and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you this system it's called the infinity rule because of the pattern that you do because um, it looks like the infinity symbol and also because no matter which way you go you're always going to get the fourth it's always going to equal out to the fourth digit um, so when you uh, you may see someone like this it's going to look similar to ratios uh, and they put like the percentage is p here uh, and the number will put x and t is the total amount of something and this is the maximum percentage so we'll say so t equals total number is a random number P is the percentage so the total number of someone is a hundred percent it's always going to be the maximum and if it's more than that it's going to be more than a hundred percent so the bottom number of this is going to be always 100. So you can probably see where I'm going with this. Now normally you um, get, you find the value of x like x uh, 10 or x 200 and then you divide that by 100 and you get the percentage. Um, well you can skip all of that crap and go straight to this layout you only need three numbers through any three of these particular numbers to find the fourth one and you're no matter what you're always going to have one number given to you which is a hundred um, so we got the the total number of questions in an exam on Glime is 124 questions and we need 80% to equal a pass. So how many questions is that do we have to get correct in order to pass that test? So let's set this up. 80 is the percentage. The maximum number of questions there is is 100 and 24 so maximum is 100 equals the total number is the number of questions 
124 and we're trying to find the number that equals 80 percent so the direction that you go it doesn't matter which way you can go from right to left or left to right but I like doing this 80 times 124 because, oh, now look, we'll go the opposite way 120 because it will mess up the symbol so we do 124 times 80 which equals 9920 that looks crazy right and then you divide that by a hundred And that gives you 99.2 and you have the infinity symbol and that's why it's called the infinity rule because no matter which way you go where you start from how you go it's always going to equal the opposite the last number so to confirm this we can do 99.2 times 100 what do you think it's going to equal out to well we just did it the opposite way so it's going to be 9920 divide that by 80 gives you 124 so that tells me I'm gonna need probably 99 questions correctly or I could to be safe side because it's 0.2 I would go for 100 questions correctly then I know I passed so let's do another one say I don't know what the percentage is but so we're looking for P, well, whatever P is, the maximum is 100 equals the number of, um, so we need a T and an X number. So we'll put just to show you what happens even if you go over 100% so we'll say 200 for this and the random number is 202 so how do we find P well we can't do P times 200 or 200 times P so you probably could and then do the algebra way it'd be 200 P and then you would divide it out by either one but no nah. uh, so we can do we'll go this way just to make it s simple 100 times 202 you just add two zeros two zero two zero zero and I'm gonna double check that just to make sure Yep, 20,200. And then we need to divide that by 200. Gives us 101%. Which is correct because 202 is more than the total and so it's going to be more than 100% it's 101% it's 1% so can we check this
how, how do we know that this 1% is correct of this? So what we can do is 1%, 1%, one hundred equals two hundred is the maximum of two hundred. So we can do either one times two hundred or two hundred times one. Because we're doing the pattern, we'll do it this way. Two hundred times one equals two hundred. And we're going to divide that by 100. Gives us 2. So 1% of 200 is 2. So with 202, we have 101%. So by doing this, we can pretty much confirm that this is also correct. Now, but it doesn't matter which way we go, we'll find the other. So, this is the invalidity rule. It's quick, it's easy, it's dead and cheap, and it's also the way you can um, do ratios. Like, if you, you're trying to find the height of the building compared to the shadow of the tree. If you have the height, total height of the tree, and the, uh, the heights and then you're trying to find the total height of the building you you do the exact same thing and then you get the fourth answer as long as you have three of the four numbers you can find the fourth number and you always have one number 100 and math and the math questions always give you two numbers so you have everything you need to solve these and it doesn't matter which numbers they give you you're always going to find the total so we did the x we did the p now let's do a t one so just to show you and prove it works so um we need three numbers Uh, random number, random number. I know, 45. And the maximum is always going to be 100%. And so what percentage do we want to look for? Let's do 95%. Just because of... The, oh, no, let's do 90 minutes. 90%. So we have a percentage of 90% and a number of 45. What does that make the total? What is 90%? What is if 45 is 90%, what is the total number? So we can't do 90 times t or t times 90. You could if you want to do algebra, but algebra is stupid. So once again, we can do 45. It doesn't matter which way you go, 90, 100 times 45 or 45 times 100 is the same thing. And it's 4,500. You always times the first two numbers and then divide it by the third to give you the last number. So fourth, yeah, so 4,000. 500 divided by 90 gives you 50. And let's make sure we can do 50 times 90. equals 4,500 divided by 45 gets us 100. And if you went 50 times 90 
and then divide it by 100, you get 45. So that's how you can call the Nvidia rule and work out percentages. No matter what, it's really easy, really quick, and really fast. Hi. Have fun. You can teach. Monkeys double blind better than that.